What's up everybody and welcome to part 11 of my basics of deep learning series. In the previous video, we left off at the point where we have written down this formula here, which represents uh, the scalar notation for finding the partial derivatives of the mean squared error with respect to all the weights of weight matrix 2. So now we can think about how we can transfer this equation back to dealing with the matrices. Therefore, let's go back to this overview diagram and let's quickly go through the feedforward algorithm again. So first we multiply this input matrix with weight matrix one to, so to say, move in the neural net from here to here and get the hidden layer inputs. And those then we put into the sigmoid function to get the hidden layer outputs and move, so to say, through the nodes. And then in the next step, we multiply this matrix with that one to get the hidden uh, the output layer inputs, so to move from here to here, and then again to move through the nodes, we put this matrix uh, into our sigmoid function. So this is now uh, the feedforward algorithm, and now to see how good the neural net currently is at making uh, such predict predictions, we're going to put these output layer outputs together with the labels into our mean squared error function. And if we do that, then we get a mean squared error of 0 0.138. And now uh, to understand how we can determine the partial derivative of the mean squared error with respect to weight matrix two during the back propagation, uh, we can now think about what we actually calculate in this equation and how we can transfer it to dealing with matrices. So uh, before we do that, uh, I would like uh, to rearrange this, equ uh, uh, this equation here because we are actually not going to calculate it in just one step like this equation here suggests, but instead we're going just uh, to calculate one step at a time, similar to what we did during the feed forward. So for that now, uh, we're going to call this first step here uh, output error. Then in the next step, uh, we're going to call that then output delta. And the last step is then our weight matrix to update. So uh, these are the steps that we're going to do. And now uh, to understand how we can translate this equation to those ones here, uh, let's go uh, through this equation. So as already said in the previous video, what we do here is that we first multiply those partial derivatives and only then after that we're going to take the sum over all the examples E. This is also what we're going to do uh, in these matrices here. And now, uh, just as a reminder, uh, this scale notation here represents one specific element of the output matrix, the output layer output matrix. And it's the element of node N and example E. So if you look, for example, at O out one of example three, then this is going to be this value here. It's example three and node one. And if you look at uh, O out three of example two, then this is going to be this value because it's example two and node three. So what we want to do uh, at this point in the equation, which represents this first step here, is for a specific element of this matrix, we want to subtract the respective element in that matrix. So for example, from this element here, we want to subtract this one and from this element for example we want to subtract this zero. So um, in terms of the matrix notation what we want to do is to simply element wise subtract the label matrix from that one. So this matrix from that. And if we then do that then we, going, we are going to get uh, this output error matrix. And by calculating it, we sort of say move in the neural net 
from this point back to here. So just to clarify, during the feed forward, we are calling this uh, point in the neural net uh, output layer output. And during the back propagation, we then call it output error. Okay, so that's uh, this first step. So now to better understand the second step here, let's rewrite this expression here as O error n of example e. So what we want to do then in this next step is for a specific element of the output error matrix, we want to multiply that element with the respective element in the output layer output matrix, and then with one minus that element. So for example, uh, this element here, we want to multiply with that, and that's then we multiply with one minus this element. So in terms of the matrix notation, what we want to do here is to element-wise multiply uh, these matrices here. And the element-wise multiplication is denoted by this symbol. So it's not a regular matrix multiplication where we add things up. So it's just, we are just multiplying uh, the respective elements. And here, as a side note, I have to say that this one here is supposed to represent a matrix that has the same dimensions as, as this one and where each element is just a one. This is probably not the most precise notation, but for our purposes, uh, it will do. Okay, so then if we execute these calculations, then we get this particular matrix and then we move in the neural net, so to say from here to here. Okay, so now to understand uh, this last step here, let's again rewrite this expression as O delta N of example E. So what we want to do here is for each uh, respective example, we want to multiply O delta N with H out F and which node N of O delta we use and which node F of H out we use depends on with respect to which weight we want to take the partial derivative of the mean squared error of. So for example, if you want to take the partial derivative with respect to weight 1, 1, which is this one here, then if we plug in those numbers here into this equation, then we can see that we want to multiply O delta 1 with H out 1. And we want to do that for each of our examples. So what we want to calculate is this value times this, this value times this, and that value times that. That is what we, what we basically do at this step here. But then again, remember uh, when we just looked at the scalar notation of this function, what we do is we multiply together those partial derivatives. And once we have done that, which is the case then here, then we're going to take the sum over all the examples E to actually then calculate uh, the update for that particular weight. So what we then actually want to do, determine this, determine this partial derivative or this update, is to multiply this value times this, and then we add to that this value times this, and to that we add this value times that. So basically, what we want to calculate to, uh, to determine this partial derivative is to calculate the dot product of this column and that column. And uh, which particular column of H out we use uh, to calculate this update here and which, uh, which column of O delta we use depends on uh, which nodes uh, this particular weight here connects. So which uh, nodes the weight connects for which we want to determine the partial der derivative of. So in this case here, we want to determine uh, the update for weight 1, 1. So we are connecting node 1 of H out. So we take uh, column 1 with a node 1 of O delta. So we take the first column of O delta. So if we then would, for example, determine uh, the update for weight 2, 1, so this one, then we take the second column of H out 
and the first column of O delta. And the same kind of reasoning applies to all those other weights. So basically what we want to calculate here at this step is then uh, for each column in this matrix, we want to calculate the, uh, the dot product with each column in that matrix. And that sounds uh, a lot like a matrix multiplication. And in fact, if we take uh, the transpose of O delta, so that these columns here become the rows, then we can multiply this matrix with that one. So the transpose of O delta with H out to execute ex exactly those dot products. And then uh, for the resultant matrix, we then simply divide each element uh, by N. So this is how we can calculate the updates for weight matrix too. But there is um, a slight problem with this approach, namely, uh, if we do these calculations, then the result of that will be a three by two matrix. And it looks like this. Uh, and the problem here is that when we want to execute the gradient descent step, what we want to do is we want to subtract uh, this partial derivative or this update from our initial weight matrix. So we would want to uh, subtract this matrix from that one. And since they have different dimensions, we can't do that. So therefore, we have to take again the transpose of this matrix. And this then looks like that. In this matrix, then we can simply subtract from that one so that we then uh, update the respective weights. Uh, so here in the calculation of this matrix multiplication, we have to again take the transpose. So this is now how we are finally going to uh, calculate the weight matrix two updates. And as you can see, here we have to take two transposes, which is somewhat complicated to do, or looks quite complicated. And we can actually uh, simplify it somewhat. Namely, instead of taking the transpose of O delta, we can also take the transpose of H out. And then we multiply the transpose of H out with O delta. That way, we are again uh, calculating all the dot products that we want, but the resulting matrix, matrix will already have the right dimensions. So we can then simply subtract this matrix from that one uh, during the gradient descent algorithm. So this is how we now are going to determine uh, the partial derivative of the mean squared error with respect to weight matrix two. And if we execute this calculation, then we get this particular matrix. And then to execute the gradient descent algorithm, we multiply this matrix with our uh, learning rate, and then we can subtract it from that one. So that is how we determine the partial, partial derivative with respect to weight matrix two. But obviously we have to do to execute the uh, gradient descent algorithm, we have to do it for all of our weight matrices. So the next step is now to going to look at how we determine the partial derivative of the mean squared error with respect to weight matrix one. And this will be the topic of the upcoming video. So thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.